This is Mozam Ali Malik from schoolist.pk. The topic we're going to do today is introduction to quadratics. Now, in order to truly understand this topic, you will need to learn the definition of the degree of an equation by heart. So, what is the degree of an equation? Degree of an equation is the highest power of x in the equation right so this is the definition of degree degree of an equation Right, I'm gonna write it a D O E thing. Now let's take some examples. Let's take some equations. If I have y equals to 3x plus 5, and I have y equals to 3x squared plus 5, and I have y equals to 3x4 plus 5x6. Now, the degree of the first equation, y equals to 3x plus 5, is 1. Degree of this equation is 2. Degree of this equation is 4. Now, these equations are called linear equations. Linear equations are the one in which the degree is 1. Now, quadratic equations are those in which the degree is 2. And... In the equations in which the degree is greater than 2, those equations are called polynomials. Let's assume we are given this equation y equals to x square plus 3x bracket into x4 plus 4 and we have been asked to find its degree. So the degree of this equation is not 4 and it is also not 2. The degree of this equation can only be determined when the equation has been completely simplified. So to do that, we'll need to multiply it this with this and this, just like common algebra. So this will be x squared into x4 is x6. x squared into 4x is 4x cubed. 3x into x4 is 3x5 and plus 12x squared. Now the degree of this equation is uh, 6 as it is the highest power of x in the equation. Now the degree of this equation is 6. Now we are clear that quadratic equations are those in which the degree is 2. For example, y equals to 3x squared plus 5x plus 4. Or this is also quadratic equation x squared, only x squared or 3x squared plus 5 right these three are quadratic equations the only thing that determine the quadratic equation is its degree now in all these three the degrees too now quadratic equation can be represented in two forms there are two ways of writing a quadratic equation first one is this y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c here a is this 3 if I compare this with this B is 5 and C is 4 this form is called the general form general form of quadratic equation the other form is called the completed square form which is y equals to a x minus 8 square plus k right this is the completed square form and to the left is the general form of the equation now here a b c h and k are all real numbers they can be any number you can think of but that number must exist in this real world they must not be imagined numbers you will learn more about imagined numbers in the later chapters of the problem 3 now if we were to draw the graph 
of these quadratic equations will get a shape like this. We'll get, we'll get a parabolic figure, parabolic shape, which will open upwards or which will open downwards. We won't get a parabolic shape which opens sideways. The graph will either open up or down. It depends on the value of A. If the value of A, here, right here, if the value of A, let's say, is greater than 0, the graph will open upwards. If the value of A is less than 0, the graph will open downwards. Now have a look at this. This is the graph of y equals to x square minus 2x minus 3. Here A is what? It is greater than 0 as A is equal to 1. Hence the graph is opening upwards. But here the equation is minus 2x square plus 4x plus 2. Here A is less than 0, right, as A is minus 2, hence the graph, graph is opening downwards. Now, come back to this, this graph has a minimum point right here at 1 and minus 4, this is the minimum point. So, when A is less, greater than 0, the graph will have a minimum point, and when A is less than 0, this graph has a maximum point. We can see that the fun value of the function, the output of this function, which is minus 2x plus 4x plus 2, is not exceeding the value of 4 here in this entire graph. And here the value of this function, the function is x squared minus 2x minus 3, is not below the value, is not lesser than minus 4 in the entire graph. Okay? And this point is also called the vertex. It is basically the turning point of the graph. It's called the vertex. Now vertex can be minimum can be minimum point or it can be maximum point. It depends on the value of A. So, here, I told you that there are two forms of writing for the equation. y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c and y equals to ax minus h whole square plus b. Now, this A, this term goes to both of them. If A is less than 0 in this form of equation, the graph will open upward. And if A is less than, uh, sorry, if A is greater than 0, in this form of equation, the graph will open upwards, and here if A is less than 0, in this form of equation, the graph will open downwards. So it goes for both of them. A is the same for both of them. A less than 0 in both of them, the graph will open downwards. A greater than 0 in both of them, the graph will open upwards. Now these points at which the graph cuts the x-axis are known as the roots of the equation this and this these are known as the roots of the equation or roots of the function this and this now the roots can be one they can be two or they can uh, there can be no roots too right for example if an equation has two roots it will cut the x-axis at two distinct points. If the equation has one single root, it will only touch the x-axis at only a single point. Obviously, it will touch the x-axis, so it will only give a single point. Right? If the equation has no roots, then the graph won't cut or touch the x-axis. It will be above the x-axis in this manner. Uh, so, that's all for today's lecture. In this, we will learn the definition of degree of equation, how a quadratic equation can be determined, different ways of writing a quadratic equation, their graph, their vertex, their roots. In the next lecture, we will learn about how to convert a quadratic equation from a general form to its complete form. See you then. Bye.